Hey, I'm Steph and this is Rita, my sprinter van. So this is the outside of Rita. Uh, I have an awning there. I have also a solar panel on the top. I have like 400, 400, uh, 400 watt of a solar panel up there. So it's a lot uh, for everything I need. Um, I have Four Seasons tire, um, which is really cool because I don't have to uh, carry four other winter tire and change it <laughs> every season. Uh, I have a rear camera as well, a rack for a spare tire. This is a storage area, oh. which is nice because um, we always need storage <laughs> when you live in a van. Uh, I was backpacking for a while and um, last summer before i bought the van i was in my car yeah so <laughs> so it's definitely easier <laughs> Welcome to the inside of Rita. So we're in my living space, which have many purposes <laughs> actually. Uh, right here on the front, just a quick look, we have a swivel seat here, which is really useful when I have people over because um, here I um, can put a table actually. So I have a pole here it's hidden here so I put the pole here with the table so we can easily fit four five people even around the table which is really cool um, the table here as well I bought a lagoon system so uh, the base is here so I can put the table and basically just sit here and I have like a, the table wherever I want to so it's really comfy to work which I really like um have lights here uh, this is storage like you saw more storage for my beddings and more clothes uh, this is my bed also so i can show you afterwards it flipped so you have like a proper bed it's um almost a double bed with the extension it comes like to here so it's amazing when i have like a friend over or something uh, underneath the bed I have storage so this is just like for my tent camping gears bags and stuff so that's really useful as well this is one of the heater um, uh, how do you say exit <laughs> the heater exit I have another one in the back but this is really cool so like it's um, the, the living space is uh, always hidden so it's heated so it's the webasto uh, that I have so I also have storage underneath here uh, and I also have it's uh, hidden <laughs> I have propane uh, for my stove here and the propane is hidden uh, underneath the van and this there's a system hidden in here with like a little motor that I use to um, the propane just go down and I can switch the it's the smaller version of the tank so yeah it's all everything is hidden in here so that's really cool first time I saw the van I was like oh my god okay this is like everything I need so I looked into a few others made some re did some research and, and, and think but that was kind of everything I needed and since it was kind of a spontaneous decision um, I didn't think about it for that long like I was like oh I fell in love so that's it <laughs> that's what's gonna happen <laughs> so in the front as well and also uh, for the windows in the door I have the black curtains which helps a lot to stay in conitos <laughs> so when I put this and uh, the one with the in the windows uh, it I can be like full light inside the van and you're you're not gonna see that there is light here so it's really an amazing feature to me for me to stay in conitos while I'm like in big cities and stuff and also it helps with uh, isolation so it keeps the warm in or the cold in if where it's really uh, warm in the summer so yeah really cool thing to have So 
this is my kitchen. Uh, there's storage here um, for like uh, just the pot and stuff to, to cook. Um, this is not really part of the kitchen. This is where I hid uh, the um, hide the toilet. So yeah, this is in the kitchen, but <laughs> not really part of it. Uh, this is just storage as well. Um, here, uh, this is an addition I put into the van this year. Uh, so I have water here, uh, like a two gallon tank, and this is uh, more water because uh, in the winter I don't have water in the van uh, because it's too cold and the pipe can freeze. Uh, so yeah, we add this thing so I can use the sink in winter. And this is an Amazon buy. It's like 30 bucks, I think, on Amazon. We just I did a hole in here, fixed everything, and now I have water. <laughs> this is amazing. So sink, uh, this is a stove I was talking about before with the propane tank that are underneath. So it's really e easy to use. And it's not, the good thing about propane is uh, it's not using your battery. So it's um, for the, all the electricity um, energy um, dealing that you don't have to think about that when you have the propane stove. And this is all food kind of kitchen um, thing. Um, so yeah, a lot of space in this van. Whether you're building your van, live in your van, or just interested in van life, you most likely enjoy getting outside and enjoying what spring has to offer. We recently had the opportunity to adventure through the Rocky Mountains with our pillow pack collection. It's multifunctional and ideal for a variety of uses. In this case, we took it along our hike because it's not only ultra light and durable, but machine washable as well. The 55 liter capacity makes it great for van life because this minimalist backpack can stow into small spaces. It also makes organizing your belongings for a day of hiking easy. With so much usable storage, we were able to take all of our camera gear and still have enough room to carry our coats, lunch, and more. This Memorial Day, use code HONOR20 to get 20% off your purchase. Pillow Pack will also donate $5 per bag to disabled veterans. Just use code HONOR20. You can find all the links in the description below. Okay, so here I have a little storage that I really like because I put a lot of stuff in it. In it. Uh, this is the battery monitor, uh, the Webasto heater, uh, the water pump as well. So on off, really easy to use. Um, here it's all the electro electronics system and storage as well um, for, well, like I said before, we always need storage. <laughs> the more, the, the better. Uh, this is my fridge. Uh, there's a lot of space in it. I have a little freezer in here as well. So it's really useful. Can carry a lot of food actually. Um, it's really nice. And in here, more storage. I have a small, really old oven <laughs> that I can carry. Uh, that I use sometimes to cook like pizza or toast or stuff like that. Uh, there's a lot of stuff un underneath there and this is shoes <laughs> and uh, a bit further there's my webasto hidden there as well. I met a lot of people along the way that completely get what I'm doing but my friend and family that I know for a long time they're like yeah I would never do that. It's cool but I would never do that. <laughs> Okay, so we're in the back of Rita, uh, which is kind of the storage area. Uh, I have a, a lot of space here uh, to put like uh, clothes. Uh, I use it mostly for like socks, um, small like leggings and stuff, uh, all my mitts, uh, towels. So you can put a lot of stuff in here, as you can see. Uh, this, um, it's not really beautiful <laughs> you're not supposed to see it um, this is, is uh, used to fill the water tank the water tank is here it's uh, 
113 little liter of water and I also have a six gallon water tank uh, that's warming up while I'm driving which is really cool it's hidden underneath the sofa bed so I have plenty of water uh, so this is the way I fill it and this is all storage gears sports gears and stuff here uh, well I have the other exit for the webasto uh, this is my shower by the way you can as you can see it's like a proper shower um, area uh, the shower um, it's this that I can uh, put directly into the sink I put this here and I use the God complicated okay and I use the curtain which is uh, all around so it's 360 curtain so I'm not putting water anywhere so I can um, all my stuff is safe from water basically so this is for the shower this is more storage as I was saying so a lot of different stuff and here it's the same so a bit more clothes there's skates, a lot of, this is my duvet that I'm hitting here. Uh, sports gear pretty much everywhere. Um, big, yeah, it's all sports gear basically because I'm really outdoorsy. Um, and this is more storage. I have a bike. I have two board, split board, normal board, yoga mat. I have snowshoes hidden here. Uh, this is my bag for work, so I can put like my computer and everything I need for work here. Uh, this is a little storage for my toilet soap, uh, kind of like a bathroom storage kind of, uh, which is really useful with a small mirror that I don't really use because I need to do this to use it properly. <laughs> the community, the van life community is really, really like open-minded, um, generous, kind. I don't like, there's something about maybe because we kind of feel the same thing or share some values or, but there's something really beautiful about the way we connect with people. I don't know. It's, uh, it's definitely something that I appreciate, I'm really grateful for about van life.